welcome here. I'm glad you've joined me today. We are prepping baby food today. If you are newer to my channel, you may not know that I am a first time mom. My son Danny is eight months at the time of filming this video. And we've been doing solids since he was about six months. We've been doing a mix of baby led weaning and purees. And honestly, I've kind of just been flying by the seat of my pants, prepping things as we've been going along, figuring out what works. But I'm feeling the need to spend some significant time prepping baby food for the next few months, creating a freezer pile so that we can easily access food as we need it. So that's what we're covering in today's video. We're gonna do a mix of purees, and baby led weaning recipes. Some recipes I have used before, some are new to me. And I'm really excited for you to join me. If you're new here, my name is Laura. I share all kinds of homemaking, motherhood type videos here on my channel. We cover a lot of different topics here and I would be so thrilled if you would join me and subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Whether you are a new mama like myself, have multiple kiddos or no kiddos, I hope you are encouraged, inspired, and motivated here on my channel. Go ahead and like this video and we are going to get started. Starting with some chicken that I am currently cooking in the oven. Something that is important to me in making baby food and feeding my baby is nutrition. You're gonna see a lot of incorporating proteins, fats, and fruits and veggies in the different foods that I'm making. So for this chicken, I'm just going to season it with some olive oil, some different herbs, some spices, make it taste good. Babies do have of taste buds and so that's something else that's important to me is actually making the food taste good for him and using different spices a little bit of garlic even or different veggies and then I'm going to bake the chicken and we will use it for our purees all right so while that is cooking I'm consulting my list I need to cook a lot of veggies, so I'm gonna get started peeling some sweet potatoes. I think it's just sweet potatoes and apples that I actually need to peel, boil, cook. The rest are frozen. So I have some frozen butternut squash, cauliflower, blueberries, spinach. So those things will need to be cooked from frozen. So I'm gonna get started peeling and boiling some potatoes, and then we'll figure out what kinds of combinations we want to do. I'm gonna do some sweet combinations, some that are more like breakfast-y, like applesauce, spinach, blueberries, and then some more savory ones like chicken, butternut squash, cauliflower. Another great source of protein are chickpeas, so I'm gonna incorporate those, maybe some black beans, and then I also have homemade chicken broth that I want to add, as well as this store-bought beef bone broth. This is a really great brand. It's called Kettle and Fire and it's from 100% grass-fed beef. So the broth is made with grass-fed beef, bones, vegetables, herbs, and I've been using it quite a bit in purees. So we have this to incorporate. Some healthy fats would be avocado, coconut oil, olive oil. So I'll add those in here and there. And then also want to think about fiber. So flaxseed, I have ground flaxseed that I can add, as well as black beans are very fibrous. I think chickpeas might also have quite a bit of fiber in them. I'm not sure, but those are great to add regardless. And then I have some pancakes and muffins that I want to make as well. All right, so I did just chop up all of those apples. What I'm thinking to save time, I'm going to put them in the steamer. And then I have some frozen butternut squash boiling over here, or it's almost gonna be boiling. And I think I'm just gonna put this on. So as the squash is boiling and cooking underneath, the steam is also cooking the apples. And then my chicken is also finished. I'm gonna let this cool. making some 
some baby pancake batter. I've got eggs, oats, and banana in here. I will link the recipes that I'm using down in the description box for you. I'm going to add in some flaxseed. I'm using ground flaxseed. This is a good source of fiber. And then I'm also going to add in some cinnamon for some added flavor. And cinnamon is also good for you as well. chicken, cauliflower, and butternut squash all cooked. I'm going to add some homemade chicken bone broth. Then I will use my immersion blender. This for me is a must have when it comes to baby food, baby food purees. I can link it down in the description box. so good we're making good progress next I'm gonna do a fruit one I believe it is apple strawberries bananas spinach and sweet potato these I'm going to put in pouches so once it's all pureed I have these that I got from Amazon that I will pour the purees into and then freeze these so that we can easily grab them on the go yesterday there was sun and there was rain These sweet potatoes just came out of the oven. They are looking great and soft. So we're going to add, I think, four of them. Three of them. Three sweet potatoes in here. I've got spinach. I have about four apples, eight ounces of strawberries, and two bananas. And then we're going to blend it all up. day yesterday afternoon honestly it was pretty rough so I just decided to put a pause on the baby food making I put it all in the fridge and just thought you know what we're just gonna start fresh today so that's what we're doing it is the morning Danny is here with me I am going to actually blend up some of what I was working on yesterday feed him a little bit now and then get the rest ready to freeze in pouches Good. I think it's probably the strawberries. It smells quite sweet and fruity.
montage for a sec to share that I just, as of right now, I just checked, I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is wild to me. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here, for joining in on this journey, for supporting my small business through my artwork and through supporting me here on YouTube. It truly means so much. And I've so enjoyed uh, sharing videos with you guys over these past five months, I think and look forward to many, many more. So just want to say thank you so much for being here. I would love it so much if you would leave a comment. Let me know something about yourself. YouTube is so one-sided, I'm finding. Like I share videos and I talk a lot, but I don't get to hear from you guys as much. And I actually, <laughs> you're so hungry. I actually can't even see like who is subscribed. Um, so that would mean so much to me if you would just let me know, especially if you are a subscriber, if you would just let me know something about yourself or um, yeah, just leave a comment. That would mean so much. Anyways, I'm gonna finish feeding this little guy and we will get back to work shortly. Thanks for being here. chia seeds with two and a half tablespoons of water let it sit for a little bit and it creates a sort of texture that can replace an egg in baking
up these bags. I'm curious if Danny's actually going to like these. They do smell quite chickpea-ish. They're not super sweet smelling. What I'm thinking is because it is more of a liquid uh, consistency, I did add quite a bit of water. I think it would be great to put on top of the pancakes. When I've made and given him those pancakes before, they can be a little bit dry. And so having some sort of liquid to kind of put on top, kind of like a jam, is helpful as well as my muffins which just finished i have some more baking now they are not the prettiest they really don't look like a muffin i did bake them a little bit longer because they weren't quite done and now i think they might be a little bit overdone the chia seeds i'm thinking are not as good of a binder but using the chickpea blueberry mixture on top of this would kind of help to soften it up Well, this is what we ended up with. Honestly, this does not look like as much as it felt like I made. I feel like I've been making baby food for so long now. But this is what we have come up with. So we've got our little muffins. These were a hit. I already gave some to Danny. He loved them. This is the chicken butternut squash. He did try some of this last night for dinner. He wasn't the biggest fan, but he was eating some of it. We've got our pancakes that are frozen, ready to go. This is the uh, blueberry and chickpea mixture. I haven't tried this on him yet, but I think that would go well with the pancakes. Butternut squash, and then these are our fruit concoctions, kind of like a smoothie pack almost. These are what I'm most excited about, and I did give him some of this, and he loved it already. So I did not end up using the beef broth. I was planning to do a few more combinations, but honestly, I think this is enough to get us started, and Danny does still eat from our plates as well at dinner. These are more for breakfast, and then like in a pinch if we don't have something or if he can't eat what we're having for dinner or lunch. It's just a great backup to have. Well, that feels really, really good to have that all finished in the freezer, ready to grab whenever we need baby food. Especially for traveling, we are going out of town this weekend, so I'm thankful that I have the pouches to bring. Super easy to just grab some of the frozen like pucks or bags, put them in like some sort of Tupperware or something like that. Super thankful to check that off my list. I'm really glad you joined me. I hope you enjoyed as I took you along and got some baby food prepped. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. I've also considered doing um, like sharing what my baby eats in a day or a week, something like that. So let me know if that video sounds interesting to you. If you're new around here, you may not know that I sell different alphabet flashcards, number flashcards and prints, some things for homeschool decor and classroom decor, things like that. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the link down in the description box. As always, I hope you are encouraged, inspired, and motivated here on my channel. That's really the huge reason that I even began this channel was one, as a way for me to have a creative outlet. I so enjoy putting together videos. I enjoy editing them and sharing them with you all. But above all, I want it to be encouraging and I want to keep things really real on here. And I hope that this channel can be somewhere that you feel at peace, that you feel encouraged and inspired, where you can just spend a little part of your day here with me and we can hang out together, get some things done, and just enjoy all of the little moments that life has to offer. Our lives are made up of mostly small, seemingly insignificant moments. There's really only a few like big decisions that we make in our lives, it's mostly the day-to-day, -day, the mundane things that actually make up our days and our weeks. And so I want to share a little bit of that with you here on my channel. I hope you are doing well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye friends. There was sun and there was rain.